Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will write down a JavaScript code to get the website URL on page load. So, if you have heard about document object, so document object is the main object that consists of many values related to your document. So let's console this document object. Okay. So once you add the document, you can see, and when you hover, you can see the document is highlighted. So this is the document object, and this is our HTML structure. So if you want to get the page URL, you need document dot URL and as you can see it's localhost 3000 okay so using document global object you can use document dot URL and you can find this URL read only property of the document interface that returns the location of document as a string so if you need to uh, work on this string or you want to manipulate this string you can use to manipulate right so this is a very simple javascript code that you can use apart from that there are other parameters in uh, uh, document uh, you can use document dot uh, there are few other values which you can use uh, document dot location and let's see as you can see it is an object and document dot location have some objects uh, values like host name host so document dot location dot dot post will return this post value just like host you also have document dot location dot host name right so it will only return the host name that is localhost in our case right so uh, this is also useful when you want to grab the host name of the, your website. The href is also uh, one of the uh, parameter that you might use that will return this URL, the href. Okay. Origin is also there. The path name uh, is a string value with a slash because we don't have any uh, other page. This is the uh, the parent page so that's why path name is slash the port this page is loading on is 3000 the protocol is http if it is https then it will return https so you can use uh, this uh, many uh, location parameters to grab the multiple things right so apart from that uh, you can also uh, look into uh, other document objects like uh, let me remove this uh, location so once you can uh, see the document object, you can get uh, multiple values like document dot. Uh, let me see what are other parameters that you can use. You can use base URI, right? That will uh, also give you this URI. This is a base URI, so uh, which is very useful as well. Apart from that, uh, a body is there, document dot body, and the body is the body of this html so as you can see it will return this html from body content right so uh, this is the document dot body apart from that uh, there are uh, like dot children we should return the children of this document a uh, clone node right also uh, there are few other uh, things you might need to use uh, document uri this is also a good example uh, the forms will return the forms uh, on in the document uh, dot get element by id element by class name element by name element by tag name these are the very useful uh, javascript uh, values that you can use in your code whenever required so uh, document dot images that is also a good example so uh, this is a core javascript a native javascript and if you use JavaScript frameworks like jQuery or Angular or React.js, you might uh, haven't heard about this type of code because they have created a JavaScript layer 
that will uh, con that consist of this kind of code so uh, similarly uh, those jquery frameworks is also uh, a very popular framework that will return uh, uh, that will useful uh, in your uh, javascript development like uh, uh, you can't you don't need to use document dot get element by id uh, there are functions that uh, jquery has uh, created for you so you don't need to uh, create or remember this document dot uh, etc etc so uh, that was overview and uh, let's see if any other parameters are on focus is uh, one of the event then you can use on valid or on invalid document dot on load that will uh, trigger a function or a callback function that you can call on document load and on mouse over that is also a property that you can use so uh, there are many um, document related properties that you can use when you interact with the document okay all right that's all for this video if you like this video please give me a like if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and if you have something to say please leave your comments below thank you